Well, it's a big news just dropped before we went on air. Before we went on air, Daniel, you guys dropped some big news. Or do you even know what news I'm talking about? He doesn't even know what news I'm talking about. Juju, multi-year deal. What about him? It just dropped. Did you not get the PR? Am I learning that from you guys? Yeah, I guess so. (laughs) Look, breaking news, everybody. Uh, Yeah, multi-year deal. Going pro at Bud's. Yeah, I just actually read the press release too because uh, <laughs> once I knew I was co- once I knew I was coming on with you guys, I was like, they're probably going to ask me about this. Let me make sure I got my timing right. So yes, the press release is officially dropped, so I can say what I want to say. Yeah, uh, which is no, I'm super excited, man. I, I just put a little tweet out in an Instagram post too. Like, it's crazy these stories, man. How it happens and like how this one happened is so crazy, and here we are. I mean, I, me and him were joking at Loretta's, like, going through our text from, like, a year ago. Just, dude, this is a long story that I'm going to let him tell someday. But, man, I, I'm grateful to be a part of it. And uh, he's a great kid. And I've, I'm just I'm excited. I can't wait to see what he does. Like, it's, the first one's always so crazy. Like, I, I can't wait. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, Juju was, like, a kind of a diamond in the rough. Like a, like a Shane McElrath or an RJ or like, – I don't remember him being fast on 85s or anything like that, right? Like, it's been, like, the last year or so. Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll go back in time a little bit where I first saw him um, and then kind of tie this whole story in together. But I was racing the Futures races back when they were on Sundays, and it was 50s all the way mm-hmm. to Vets, right? Remember when they did that for a couple of years? Yeah, before And uh, my son was there racing on a 50, and I remember I, I loved watching, like, obviously Ryder D and Max Bull. Like I love watching these kids, but back then this didn't matter to me. It wasn't part of my life, but I just liked it. And I remember watching Juju on an RM85 with like a long swing arm. It may have been the super mini class. And he was battling Ryder like hard. I think he didn't beat him in a couple motos. And I was like, who the heck is that? Like, wow. And then someone was like, oh, he's like a jet ski racer. He's like a world <laughs> champion <laughs> yeah. jet ski racer. And I'm like, well, he's good at this too. But <laughs> yeah, I never thought much right. about it because honestly, that, that wasn't my life at that time. I didn't, sure. I didn't care enough to like pay that much attention. Uh, fast forward a couple of years. And yeah, he's on big bikes. I remember watching him last year at Loretta's and doing what he always does on paper, which is show incredible speed. His lap times have been good for a long time. He's always been really mm. fast. Uh, and he was fast last year, and he was good. And like I said, that getting into the fall and into the winter and just how everything happened, obviously, I mean, I, I can be transparent enough to say that the, the Dax and Bennett story is tied into all this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that was Dax's spot originally. That was, that was the hope and, and thought, but everything changed and shifted. Um, to where this opportunity popped up for him to to move into that spot. And now here we are in, in August of 23, and he's racing Red Bull KTM full factory. Here we go. That's I mean, it, like I said, I'll let him tell his own story, but man, yeah. this, this is one you guys need to tap into. There's a lot of layers. And point. you expected him to come out, or did you know he was going to come out and do what he did at, in Supercross Features? Did you, did you anticipate that happening, or did that surprise you? So I, I'll, be, I'll be fully honest. I expected him to be flashy indoors because he's very fast and I knew he was good at it. Um, so I thought we would see flash but and flash to me is like maybe one hot lap, maybe you know a good section, maybe something. but the flash was so dang big with him that it, it again everyone's eyes just kind of locked in and went right. what the heck is going on here now there were some people that already kind of had you know um, a relationship kind of in place. I can tell you right now his relationship with Davy Millsap has helped a lot of this. Davey obviously has a close relationship with Carlos Rivera. So they were looking at him at Anaheim because they were told to look at this kid. And when he did what he did at Anaheim, not only because on paper it was fast, but the way it looked, it was like, oh, wow, you're right. A diamond in the rough. That's, that's really what he is and what he was. And yeah. so we do the deal with him. It all comes together. And now in place is a lot of support for him. Davey's supporting him. You know, KTM's got his back. Me and Nate Ramsey got his back. Like, all of a sudden, everyone around him is really like the complete package that can help him tighten up the bolts. Mm-hmm. And he did that right away. He won those two futures rounds. He did it so, like, so maturely. It was just, he really grew up fast. And um, so I think the timing of his talent mixed with the support and the belief around him, it just, it all tied in. And it, it's one of those magic stories that we might look back to 10 years from now and go, yeah, you can't replicate that model. That, that was just him. I mean, it's, very weird how it all happened but it happened and uh couldn't happen to a better 